So normally with this YouTube channel, I like to be a little bit secretive. I like surprises, I like secrets, I like it to where you guys don't know some of the things that are coming until they happen. Like when I went to Nebraska, I didn't tell anybody about it. I wanted it to be a surprise when I got there. Well this time, I'm gonna do things a little bit differently. I'm building a whole brand new bike and I wanna bring you guys along with the journey. And with that, that means we have a whole bunch of pieces and parts that are coming in the mail and that I picked up from the bike shop that I wanna show you guys beforehand. Normally with this kind of thing, I would just come out with a video, my brand new BMX bike build for 2021, and I would build it up and you guys would see it. But this time, I'm bringing you along for the journey from day one. So I've actually already acquired a few parts for the build, including what we have right here to unbox for you guys. I thought this would be a perfect opportunity to open up this box and show you what we're working with at the beginning of the bike. And then, in the next video, I'm gonna show you what we already have. So, we're gonna get right on into this one, and we're joined by the top-down camera, which you can see right now. And it looks like I've already made an incision, so I cannot go back any further. So, with this, let's see what's inside this box. Ooh, we've got some packaging. We've got, oh, oh, we gotta hide those. See, surprises. I love surprises on this channel because it's just fun to do surprises and it's fun to have you guys not know something's coming until it's here, but I think it will be a lot more fun potentially to do a whole series with my new bike. So we're gonna put these boxes facing down. We're gonna get rid of that box. We're gonna get right on into it. So the first one that we're gonna open is something that you may have seen before but it's gonna look a little bit different to you. So, as you can see from the top down, you're seeing it first. Oh, oh, it looks so good in person. Oh my gosh. All right, no more teasing. Here we go. This is the Alienation Vault Stem in silver. My goodness, it is beautiful. Holy cow. This is the two-piece top cap design. I believe this one has a 53 millimeter reach with a 33 millimeter rise on this stem. And oh my gosh, I love the look of this silver or raw aluminum here. I'm psyched on this. So now that you've seen the stem, we'll give you a little bit better look here from all different angles. This thing's got crazy machining to it. Another fact about this stem is this made from seven series aluminum, 775 aluminum, which not a ton of stems these days are made of. All CNC machined here. I love the black bolts in the cap here, contrasted with the silver of the stem. So let's set this one aside here. We'll keep it in the box just so there's no possibilities of it uh, getting scratched up or anything. This is one I'm excited about, and this is partially why we're doing this series because in order to do what I want to do with this next piece we have to make a video of it so you're gonna know about it beforehand anyways and here we go oh baby this is my first ever front hub from alienation this is the alienation tin man front hub this thing has four sealed bearings in it I'm pretty sure and it's got hollow bolts that come with it. Eight millimeter here. Let's pull these bolts out of the, uh, the bag just so we can show you every little detail about this thing. I love showing all details. We'll screw them in too after this. So, as you can see here, it's got an eight millimeter on the inside. It's a hollow bolt. And I'm assuming that's a 17 on the outside hex. So let's go ahead and just screw one of these in here. I'm wondering if we can get this cap off or if we have to work at that somehow. Yeah, I'm not sure if we can get the cap off and take a look on the inside, but the part I'm excited about with this, obviously you saw that we have a silver stem here, but uh, this hub is black. I'm actually going to be taking this hub and stripping the anodizing off of it and hand polishing it myself. I'm very excited about this. I've never done it before. It's gonna be an experiment, but I'm pretty 
pretty stoked on the potential and just bringing you guys along for the journey of doing it. I'm excited to do that, show you how I did it, make it a whole video. And on that note, I'm excited to get this thing on my bike. This is the front hub. This is going to be the stem from the bike. I'll show you right here again. And I definitely just remembered something that we're gonna have to splice in here because I set this aside earlier and totally forgot about it. We have two hub guards for this hub that were included. And these actually, oh, these replace the, these replace the hardware on the hub. So take a look at this hub guard here, just covers spokes. And that means the threading on here, I'm assuming, means that this threads off of here as well. So I think that's just gonna be a, a matter of me getting it. So we've got two of these hub guards here that were included in here and I made sure to splice this in there. I didn't mean to forget, but I set it to the side, just forgot. So on that note, I've gotta give a huge shout out and thank you to Alienation for sending this stuff out on such short notice. We just talk about the parts and then they get sent out the next day. I've gotta thank Zach Taylor and everyone at Alienation for the support. If you haven't checked out Alienation, they make some of, if not the best rims in all of BMX, lightest and strongest for sure. And I'm super excited to get this thing laced up to an Alienation rim after I get it all polished up and bring you guys along for that journey. So thank you, Alienation. Check them out if you already haven't or just check them out again. And uh, if you wanna follow along with this journey, there's gonna be a playlist right here and then the video eventually when I polish this thing up, hopefully will end up right here if I remember. So thank you guys for watching. Subscribe if you haven't yet and hopefully that'll mean that we'll see you on the next chapter of this journey in building a brand new BMX bike or tomorrow for whatever video that is. Thank you again for watching, and goodbye.